Welcome back to another episode on Behold Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a take two look at probably one game that brought back to life 2D run and gun video games from Contra to Gunstar Heroes, the unforgettable arcade and home surprise hit Metal Slug. Way back in the 90s, where 32 bit gaming on the horizon and 16 bit gaming was clinging on just barely. We were gifted with Metal Slug, right in the middle of all the chaos. But Metal Slug did dominate a lot of my time in the arcades once I saw it in Electronic Gaming Monthly as a 2D masterpiece. With the 32-bit era on the rise and 16-bit ports from SNK in the past for the Sega Genesis and Super NES, ports of the Sony's PlayStation and Sega Saturn would have to be soon. Owning a Sega Saturn at the time, I was dismayed that the game would never come to fruition, only to be released in Japan as sales in the US were horrible for the Saturn. Back in those days, I couldn't just pick up a new system. I had to support what I had, so I had modded my Sega Saturn to play Japanese titles as well as paid a hefty price to import them. But in the long run, I was still able to have owned and play at home Metal Slug in all its glory on the Sega Saturn. This time around, we won't be looking at other systems in comparison, as I bet they're just fine. My only copy of this game, Metal Slug, was on the Sega Saturn, and that's where we're going to take a look at. Originally developed by Nazca Corporation and released by SNK in 1996 for the Neo Geo MVS, Metal Slug has been the seventh most popular game for the system and one of the top grossing arcade machines in 1996, ever since its release. My friends and I spent countless of quarters trying to beat the one-hit kill 2D phenomenon. The Metal Slug team was developed by most of the same teams at Irene, like in The Hunt and Gun Force 2. Some of the team leaders left, like Shinchi Hamada, Kenji Ando, and Atushi Kuruko, and became working in today's field for companies like Platinum Games and Monolith Soft. The Sega Saturn port of Metal Slug was very well received as the system was made first to be a 2D powerhouse and was also used uh, the 1 megabit cartridge to help the game with all its animations which proved to be a secret weapon for the animated heavy games from SNK and Capcom with games like King of the Fighters 98 to X-Men vs. Street Fighter. At its very core, it is a run and gun game and where players assume the role of Captain Marco Rossi and Lieutenant Tarma Rovi of the Penguins Falcon Strike Force who will stop at nothing, saving hostages and destroying the enemy. The gameplay offered your typical power-ups and weapons but also added melee combat knife strikes when you got too close to an enemy. Vehicles were also added to add, the, add to the chaos and also used to help against mid bosses and end level boss fights. The controls were tight and precise, and only 2D slowdown could actually be seen on the screen that actually allowed you to survive a little bit longer, as there was so much to see in Marvel on the screen that you had to react to it as well, and the slowdown absolutely helped. Almost anything and everything could lead to death, and this one hit killer affair didn't mess around. What can you say about the visuals here besides 
that they were drawn perfectly. I love the 2D pixel art presented and the slowdown here just lets you know how much carnage and chaos is on screen is where the developers would not even concede to have less than their vision to even think about uh, toning the game down for performance reasons only. They pushed the Neo Geo so hard that it was taxing for even 32-bit rivals PlayStation and Saturn to have the perfect port. Every character explosion to mere background and constant action was painstakingly heavily animated to ensure the absolute best was seen from level to level. The soundtrack and sound effects were also great, with every level fun to hear with banter between characters as they run around and attack. The soundtrack itself really pushes the Yamaha in the Neo Geo to new heights and the sound even better with the CD tech in the Sega Saturn. There is always a con in every game, and the biggest con here is the one-hit kill variety and its incredibly hard difficulty, which makes you shy away at times. It is an arcade game first, of course, and a home console game second. The more you die, the more quarters you spend, and the more part is a reality as it hits keep coming. This was indeed a Souls game in the past, in the 2D era. The legacy of the series had reached its peak. Although a different developer, the game remains the same, where the same fun can be had. It's fantastic seeing the same game and mechanics pushed with different hardware, but coming out very much the same way. Mission one, start. Although the game can be beaten in 30 to 45 minutes in one sitting, it's about the visual tour de force with co-op play that really makes the game come alive. Even in a single player, it brings some of the best 2D action home and has ever been created. Ported to virtually every home console with the, from the 32-bit era on, there is no excuse for someone not to try the game at all. That's it for this retro take two look at Metal Slug. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Yeah.